Ah, what a lovely day here in the world of Radiata Stories. Hey everybody, it's Scarlet Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Radiata Stories. I repeated myself. Oh, well. uh, in the last episode, we joined the Radiata Knights after failing the Knight Selection Trials. I guess having some ties to your awesome, super awesome, mega... I was about to say Freakazoid, no. Famous Father, you know, has its perks. And we have joined up with the Rose Kashom Brigade, which is led by Gans, and we also have our uh, other member, Ridley, and also a member of the Olatian Order Guild, uh, Clive, along with us. And today, this time, we're going to be heading, if I open up the map, over to this uh, little... Uh, Little spot right here, which is where, well, I assume it's Earth Valley, because we gotta go protect the dwarf. Uh, this time, I'm gonna kick this enemy over here. Because we're getting right into it, you know? Right into the, the meat and potatoes. Because now we're gonna start fighting actual enemies. Ain't this just exciting? Hey, exciting to fight these scary bad guys. I know, I'm excited. Now that we're out of Tutorial Central, it's time to put these skills to use. All right. Man, first battle, guys. Got 19 bucks and some experience. Just good stuff. We got this giant ant here. I'm gonna kick him, too. No one's safe from my wrath. Absolutely no one. Um, I guess I might as well, uh, open up the menu here. I want to show off an analysis ball. You're not going to see me, uh, do this all the time. I'm going to use it on the Giga Ant. And basically, with the analysis ball, you can see, uh, an enemy's level, their health, any kind of elements or special abilities that they may have. Uh, as you can see, this Giga Ant is useless. Or not useless, but has nothing special about it. And, uh, as you see, we have the characters out here, uh, dropping their quotes. Silly quote. <gasps> Level up. We have characters out here dropping their silly quotes and all that stuff after battle. Um, it's not entirely random. It's based on who gets the, the final blow, uh, on an enemy. Uh, there's stuff to kick out here on the roads as well. Like an empty bottle. You can get stuff. Like I said. Won't be kicking everything, or going around the world kicking every little thing to show off where all the spots are, but, you know, if we see something out in the open, you bet your ass we're gonna be kicking it. But yeah, so far it's nothing too crazy. We just gotta get to our destination, kill enemies along the way. I mean, we could skip them, but, you know, it's early game in the JRPG, guys. You gotta, you gotta get your experience up. It's just how the world works. Get your money up. And what's nice is that whenever you level up, you may have not noticed it, but, um, or maybe you did if you got a keen eye. Um, uh, come on, can I kick you? No, I cannot. Um, it's a thing over here flying enemy. Spooky bat. Sometimes that thing will come down and try to fight you, but sometimes it just floats around and never really comes down, so I'd say I wouldn't bat uh, battle. No, I wouldn't bother with it. Um, but, uh, you may have noticed that, uh, whenever I leveled up, um, Jack and, I guess by extension Clive, I'm not sure if Clive got, uh, damaged enough or not, but he leveled up as well. You may have noticed that our health actually refilled. It's pretty nice of the game. You level up, you get a full heal. Let's go along with it. It's all nice. Yes. Give me my experience. And as you battle, your skills get stronger. Like, Ridley has wind defense, and her wind defense skill got better. So that's nice. And uh, over here, we have a, uh, a fellow. We got Lewis. Hey, hey, where are you from? Ah, that's a great place. Welcome. Welcome. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, we have a wandering uh, merchant here. He sells uh, basically whatever's in the castle, so it's nothing really worth... Going too crazy over. We don't have a lot of money, so I'm not gonna be uh, I'm not gonna be buying anything in particular from this man. I personally don't need it because I'm I'm just good at the game. I'm just good like that. Oh, we got a chicken. I want to hit the pot. Yeah, there we go. Nothing. Yeah, kick that chicken. And you may have noticed that there was a uh, a chest back here. We can kick that. 
We got ourselves an evasion berry. Uh, that is a stat boosting item. That increases our evasion by two. Which is pretty nice. Wouldn't you say? Got herb extract from that box. Guys, we are just absolutely getting all the goods. Oh, finally. I attacked him. Or not attacked him. I ran into him. Just wondering if we're going to actually see him or not. Now, these guys are kind of dangerous. Uh, ouch. Uh, wow, I almost died. Clive, save me. Oh my god, I literally almost just got a game over right there. Holy shiznit. I'm getting comboed. Thank you, Clive. Thank you for healing me. You're a real hero. You're a woman, Clive. Can you stop it? Oh my god, please stop bleaching onto my face. It's a scan says floundering really helps. Oh god, Ridley, I'll save you. You know what? That's it. Get a Volti attack. I missed it, got showed up by Ridley. I'm never gonna beat the Ridley is better than me allegations. I mean, look at her level, man. She's all freaking level 4? I'm level 3. Well, now I'm just embarrassed. I literally almost got a game over. Uh oh. We got back, we got ambushed, which means we start off in a confused state. So, uh, don't want to be careful here. Uh, normally the stats goes away naturally, but, uh, sometimes when you get hit, it'll go away too, so. Come on, guys. Can you okay smack me, please? I don't want to smack Ridley. That's like the last thing I want to do. Especially since these evil pigs are like going ham. Yeah, Volti attack. Yeah, how do you like that, huh? Oh, sweet. Thanks, Gans. I really needed that. Ooh, I needed that circle. Ooh, I needed that. Alright. Okay, kick you. No, I cannot. Uh, where are we on the map? Okay, so we're gonna wanna go... I'm gonna try to fight everything, uh... I wanna go up. But I wanna try to fight everything, uh... Uh, in the, uh, early game, because, you know... You gotta fight everything, get strong, and all that stuff. You probably won't see me When we get further along, you probably will see me skip some battles. To the best of my ability. Not all the time, but, like... Occasionally, you'll see me skip some battles. Sometimes you just gotta do that. I also want to drag the video on longer than it needs to be. <gasps> I got luck plus up. Oh my god. Jack is gonna be even more lucky. So yeah, you will pardon the fact that I gotta fight all these enemies. Even though you don't have to, quote unquote. But, you know, I just recommend that you do. Because again, with the game as sparing with save points as it is, if you die, uh, it's one of those games where if the party leader dies, aka Jack, um, <gasps> oh my god, Clive got a kill. He did it. I gotta do it like Mega Man and be like, he did it. And ooh, we learned Sky Splitter. Um, that is a uh, another attack that we can learn. Or add on to our attacks. Uh, as you can see, we have, uh... I don't want to say that. But uh, as you can see, uh, each uh, move has a certain number of CP attached to it. These are points that you can have. As you can see, as you can see on the right, uh, right next to attacks, we have 0 out of 4. So we can do something like right slash, left slash, and we can add Sky Splitter at the end. To increase our little combo. Since we got nothing else to put, uh, we'll keep it at that. Uh, if we try to go the wrong way, though... Master Jack, that's not the way to Earth Valley! Okay, Gans. Thank you for alerting me of this information. Uh... Can I fight you? Yeah! So yeah, now if you pay attention to Jack whenever he's fighting an enemy, you can see, uh... You see he has a little bit of a jump, uh... As a jump slash. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh oh. Thank you, Clive. 
You're a real one. Thank you for healing me. I'll admit, I'm not a fan of this particular finisher move in the combo, but... You know, since we got nothing, you know, you gotta work with what you got. Gotta expand that arsenal a little bit. Level 4 Clive? No way Clive is stronger than Jack. It's just not fair, man. It's just not fair. I'm feeling mad. Honestly, I might, even I, might, I might not even keep this guy uppercut. I'm gonna be real. Is this guy uppercut? Or did I already forget the move? I just wanted to show that uh, you could have more moves in your arsenal. As long as you don't over exceed the limit. So what I think I will do instead is, once we go through this menu and get myself a sweet, sweet level up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what I think I will do instead is go a little crazy. Check this out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I think these are cool. Allows for... Yeah. Four hit combo. Which isn't always the best thing, and you'll see why. Uh, if I can... I'll probably demonstrate why having sometimes having a long combo is not always the greatest thing. Actually, wait, there's something on the floor. Did I kick this thing? Yeah, there's nothing. And, uh, I guess I'll explain it. Uh, when you have a long combo, you notice how uh, enemies can interrupt your attacks and all that stuff. That's part for the course. So when you have, like, a long combo, uh, you can't, like, guard, like, immediately on point. You have to wait for your combo to finish. So, sometimes having a longer combo can actually be kind of detrimental. So keep that in mind. There's strategy towards it. And I like that. I like that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think smart. If you want to survive out in the world of Radiata Stories. It's a dangerous world out here. Can't afford death. But death can afford you. Ooh. Scary. And also, since we're pushing it. Holy crap, guys, that was in sync. Not the band in sync. No, that was in sync. We killed them at the same time. It was beautiful. I just got chills down my spine, guys. Little chills. Literal Chills. Before we go on to number one, my name is Chills, and I hope you're enjoying this video so far. <laughs> God damn it, I haven't even done much thinking about Chills. I don't know if he fell off per se, but... I mean, who am I to say what happened? I don't even know. Why am I even bringing him up? Five, did you get another kill? Okay, no you didn't. Clive out here going, woohoo, I got a kill. My, name, my name's Clive. That's the Clive voice. My name's Clive. That's how we do things. I'm going to beat the crap out of this pig. Because this pig had it coming. I'd say boar, but boars have like tusks and all that stuff. Ow. You greedy little piggy. We don't need assistance. Oh man, this combo is really doing... Really doing numbers. Right now I sound like a... Uh, Twitter people who are like, Holy crap, this tweet. OMG, a hit tweet. This tweet's doing numbers. Uh, watch my videos, please. I have nothing against that. It's totally fine. Alright. Ooh, we gotta go across the rickety bridge. And look, you can see the castle from here. Ain't that a nice attention to detail? Uh, where are we right now? Ooh, we're getting there. But we got a lot of enemies. And this isn't like other games where it's like, uh-oh, two enemies are close to each other. Uh, get off of me. Two enemies are close to each other. It's time for like a, a double whammy of an attack of a battle. Nah. Just one encounter at a time. Y'all know what I mean, right?
trying to think of a game where that happens. Is, is the Tales game one of those, I think? I know for a fact Berseria and Zesteria do, do that. To my memory. Ooh, whoa. Look at that big thing over there. Ooh, kick it. Yeah, kick you rocks. Give me that herb extract. That herb extract. Ha, Rick and the gods can help us out. And it's up gushing about battles and we're doing a lot of battling. I like the detail if you can see uh, the character animations going on as they like, uh, as the characters like have like little quips to say. Like you saw Ridley like swing her axe at that moment. We actually, while she was talking, we saw her swing her axe and go through the animation. But this is a nice little detail. I like that. Good job, Radio Stories. You get no thumbs up from me. I'm just blazing this game. Makes you wonder, it's like, do I have anything bad to say about it? Eh. Not really. Maybe a couple minor grievances, but we'll go over those whenever we go over those. Actually, we already encountered one. Save points. I wish they were more frequent, but, you know, I get why it's like that. Add some challenge. Even though this game really isn't that hard. With a couple exceptions of difficulty spikes, but other than that, this game really isn't that tough. Uh, these bandits actually kind of hurt a little bit. I would actually recommend uh, um, guarding against them, because they can do it too. And that's also kind of the thing. Enemies, since you have all these skills at, uh, at your disposal, keep in mind that some enemies can do that too. Some enemies do have multi attacks that they can use against you. Some can perform uh, counter blows and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Awesome. Also, if you have any statuses, whenever you level up, you also get rid of those too. With a couple exceptions. Because there always seems to be exceptions. Alright, let's kick you. Kick you, get my eye drops. Kick you, kick you. Nothing. Can't kick you. Can I kick you, Mr. Tree? I can. But there's nothing. What about you, Mr. Rock? Can I kick you? Far out! Dwarves live in a crazy place like this? It's like a theme park. This is gonna be fun! This idiot really thinks we're on some kind of picnic. Yup. Oh, ain't he just like the sweetest son of a gun ever? I love Jack Russell. Jack Russell is my hero. And he is the greatest Radiata character to ever walk the land. Flea ball. Awesome sauce. Also, speaking of Jack Russell, I gotta say, great name. They named him up for a freaking Jack Russell Terrier. He's a dog. Bro is a puppy. Not a beatboxing puppy, though. Gotta specify that. Bro, we've been no one out of draw. Beatboxing puppy. Did I make that joke in a different Let's Play? I don't even remember. It's funny, though. It's funny. It's humorous. Can Jack get to level 5? He can. Good job, Jack. I'm proud of you, buddy. I know you worked hard for that. He worked hard. He, he poured his heart and soul into that level up. Open up! No. Huh? Why not? Master Jack, there are certain formalities that we must observe. We are the Rose Cochon Brigade, here to escort the trade goods in place of the Viola Chevre. Oh, right. You're the guards for the wagon. All right, come in.
Welcome to Earth Valley. There's quite a bit to th of things to see and do here in said valley. And we'll definitely go check it out as we go along. But for now, we're just going to keep uh, to the script and go to this nice, nice looking place. Come in. I'm on the second floor. It was one line of dialogue. I don't feel like I needed to, like, freaking mute myself for that. It's not a cutscene. It was just a line of dialogue that just happened to be voiced. And I'm trying to just kick stuff. Kick stuff and maybe we get some items. Even though I highly doubt these things will provide us items. But you never know. Mm. So you are here instead of the Violet Chevray. It is an honor to be of service. Hmm? Who are you? Dance Rothschild at your service. You aren't Gauvain's kid, are you? You know my father? There isn't a dwarf alive who doesn't know who your father was. You know... Yes, yes, well, we can talk about my father some other time. Hmm? All right. Ah, uh, yes. I have a very important favor to ask of you, Gans. I want you to take this to your king. It's a letter describing the new prices for our metal goods and weapons. Did you say new prices? We're getting less and less ore out of this mountain. The mine is running dry. What's more, the water of Earth Valley is becoming muddy and foul, and the earth is turning thin and barren. Nothing will grow here anymore. That is terrible, sir. Everybody is having a hard time. We have no choice but to raise our prices just a little. And hence the letter. I see. I will make sure that it is delivered safely. Thank you, my friend. It's going to take some time to get the trade goods ready. While you're waiting, relax and enjoy some of the valley's hospitality. And the party disbanded. See, now we're gonna do, go around and check out some stuff, see what's popping, dropping, all that stuff all around Earth Valley. We'll start from the top and work our way down. How's that sound? Uh, first things first, right over here in this little shack. We got a shop run. We got Dwarf Fun General Store. Yeah, so we got dwarves. And it based on how, uh, Gonovich and Donovich spoke, you know, I'm not gonna give everyone a voice because honestly, I don't want to kill my throat, but just for you, buddy. How do you? Welcome. Welcome, Mr. Anything You Want. Uh, it's just that I have stopped herb extract, cure needle, eye drops, mint drop, toadstool powder. Uh, Star powder, flea ball, and an eagle crest. Ooh, and a, um, a little accessory that learns uh, one-handed sk sword skills quickly. This is actually not a bad item to get if you can afford it. I can. I'm not going to personally do it for reasons you'll see soon. Thank you very much. Come by whatever we open. Okay. Whatever you say, pup. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, hello. I didn't even notice you were up there, Donovich. I didn't even notice. Uh, over here with the weapons store, I'm gonna save that little snoozy place for last. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh, for reasons you'll see uh, at the end. But, uh, come on. Kick it around. Uh, here we got uh, Vladimir Putin. I'm okay, kidding nah. Uh,. Here we got a weapon store, and we have three weapons that we can buy. We can buy an Iron Edge, which we already own. That's our default weapon. We can buy an Air Blade, which adds a Wind Element to our strikes. And uh, an Aqua Blade, which adds a Water Element. And you know me, guys. I like me some weapons. I'm gonna get ourselves the Aqua Blade. I want to be more powerful. I want to be stronger. So yeah. 
Just want to buy that. Uh, let's see, nothing over here. Uh, let's gonna head back to Gutogonovich to see what's going on and also stuff to see I can kick and all that stuff like this. And kick, kick everything in here. Yeah, give me my startle powder. I thrive on that stuff. A life berry? Don't mind if I do. That's a HP increasing item, so. That's another one of those stat boosting berries. Yeah, how do you like that? Gunovich. Have a stroll around the village while you're waiting for the cargo. Hello there. Did you go to the pub already? I heard they're having problems. Hello there. Grigory's dwarf liquor is famous around these parts. Though I don't reckon you're old enough to be sampling it yet. Ho 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 ho! Thank you, Gunovich. And actually what he said about the pub is actually kind of important, so I'd say that might be our next little stop. Which is right here, but we're not going there yet. For instead, I want to go to the liquor store over here. To not only kick things, because we love kicking things, because we're a bunch of kickers. Uh, but we got him. Hi. Mm, who are you? Oh, you're one of the knights sent to guard the cargo. Oh, me, I'm the owner of this establishment. The liquor I make here is the finest you could ever hope to taste. I have a hard time not drinking it all myself. <laughs> but I have a problem. Really? You'll hear me out? You're a kind young man. The thing is, the liquor I make is being stolen from the pub. I make it for everyone to enjoy so they can all learn how good it is. I can't have one person hogging it to themselves. I guess I make it too good. It's so good it's criminal. Hi. <laughs> you want to buy some of my liquor? No, children aren't allowed to buy the drinks I sell. Okay. All right, now we'll check the pub. Just kidding, it ain't open till five o'clock and it's not even three yet. So I guess for the time being, we'll have to check out other establishments like uh, over here. What? What are you human, is it? Hey. As long as I'm here, not even the mouse is going to get in. Hey. Stand back, I said, stand back, sir. My throat's already killing me from talking about the talking to these dwarves, so I think I'm gonna give them all the regular voice uh, from here on out. Uh, just me though. Actually, need a drink because uh, my throat's killing me from doing these voices. For the important ones, though, I'll do it. Or if I if I deem deem them, deem them worthy of being having the dwarf voice. Mm -hmm. Yo, have a beard. Are you male or female? <coughs> oh, God. Hey there. Books are great. They're so much lighter than stone tablets. I guess they are. Hey there. Shush! Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? Hey, I'll give him... I'll do a little accent, but not like the... Rah, 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 thing I was doing before. We just gotta do enough to kill time. That's why I said maybe check out the pub stuff first. Because we're gonna have to do a lot of waiting. Lots and lots of waiting. Uh, let's see what's down here. Nothing. Makes sense. Uh, what about, uh, ooh, secret boxes? Nothing in them. Fair enough. I was popping back here. You stink of humid. Did you have a bath this week? Oh, yeah, I'm a happy dude. Yeah, I'm a cool dude. Oh, yeah. What? You have a problem with the way I work? No, not particularly. I have a problem with you, though. Just kidding. Nah, dwarves are cool. They chill AF. I didn't realize they were chill like that until, like, much later. But these dwarves are chill. They got they got a nice place. Nice place of a nice, humble abode. Oh, excuse me. I have to go over here. Uh, we got... Hello. Yeah. You don't have any spare shields, do you want to sell? You want to sell, do you? Even if you think they're no good, I sure could use them. Hey. Will you miners dig the old at the smith, or that the smiths turn into weapons? The weapon shops sell the weapons, and folks like you buy them. Take care of your weapons. A lot of people work hard to produce them. 
We might just never know what kind of weapon our, our ore will be turned into. Who knows? Maybe I dug the ore for that one you're holding right now. Interesting. Uh, over here we actually have a uh, little area. Uh, the Dwarf Tunnel. I do not recommend you actually go further. I just wanted to show that it was here. Uh, because you'll make the mistake that I did. Did not save your game. Walked into there. Got himself killed. And uh, was bad that I had to do like 20-30 minutes of extra work. Uh, of, of progress all over again. Uh, how long is this video right now? 31 minutes? Okay. Not bad. About what I expected. Uh, did I go in here? I don't think I did. What's poppin'? It's Sergi's place. Oh my god, Sergi from Tales of Sisteria? He's here too? Wow! This is where he was hanging for like the... 10 years before Sisteria came out. Because this game is from 2005, baby. 2005. It's old. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it 5 o'clock yet, according to the game? Nope. I'm gonna stand out here and wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my little power walk. Yeah, if you tilt the controller, it's like just barely. You do a little power walk, and it's funny. Jack's little fancy little walk is like, do, 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 do. yeah. Yeah, look at me, I'm speed walking. Alright, now are you open? You are open. We got the Dombe Diner. Hey! Don't open that with your foot, idiot! I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I didn't mean it, I swear. Well, we heard you had a problem, sir, so let's go see what his problem is. Hey. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Err. Uh, what shall I do? Err, uh, hello? Oh, oh, you surprised me. Wow, he really zoned out. Oh, is that right? Is something wrong? Well, no, nothing you'd be interested in. Come on, you have to tell me now, after all that. Well, the fact is, recently liquor has been disappearing from my pub. You have robbers? I'm always here at night, obviously, so it's not happening then. I think someone must be sneaking in during the day, when I'm closed. Sounds like you need better security. I know, I know, but who can I ask to guard my shop? Hmm? Huh? Of course! What about you? Me? Can you watch my shop just during the daylight hours? Well? Will you do it? Of course there'll be something in it for you. I... Uh, yeah, we'll take the job. Sure, whatever. I've gotta hang around here for a while anyway. So you'll do it. You'll come by then as soon as I close up. Okay, I'll watch your shop and catch those crooks for you. Hey. Don't forget to watch my shop. Hey. Okay, he's just saying that. Well, at least on the sign, they're op he's open from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. So we're going to be waiting for a hot minute, which is why I didn't want to rush checking out everything, too. I want to conserve some time, so at least we have stuff to do. But eventually, knowing me, I am going to run out of things to do. And I'm going to have to cut away and cut out some time until he actually closes. But until that said time, we're going to chill and check out other buildings and see what's popping. Uh, no, I do not want to be... Yeah, no, I don't want to be here. I want to go down here. Check out these little areas. Because you notice our party disbanded, but as you can see... Our companions are actually around here, hanging around. Hello? Oh, you're human, aren't you? You've come a long way to visit. Hello there. I'm in the middle of my meal. Please don't interrupt. Hello there. Munch, munch. I'm just going... Ah, mm, mm. Um, I will recommend talking to NPCs at least three times. Just because usually they have like three lines of dialogue... Or three different pieces of dialogue to say to you. Which is why I've been talking to everyone three times thus far. Uh, with a couple of exceptions. Mainly named NPCs you'll want to do that for. Oh, excuse me, but like... Guardsmen at the Radiata Castle? Yeah, don't bother. Hi. Dwarves are real good with their hands, huh? Hi. I wish I could make weapons. Why don't you? Yep, I could be a dwarf apprentice. You serious? Hi. But a weaponsmith has to work real hard, huh? Maybe it ain't for me. Hi. 
Aw. Little Clive. Little Clive wants to be a weaponsmith. Aw, little Clive. Little Clive will so I wanna make weapon. I wanna make a stick of power. I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm losing my mind. <gasps> oh my gosh. Time change. Ain't that crazy. Hmm. Looks like not everyone's uh, around here. I'm trying to kick you, bucket. I guess it gets sad trying to kick the bucket. <laughs> I'm stupid. Sorry, there ain't, there ain't much going on. I'm just kicking things. If, I, if there's no one to talk to, then there's stuff to kick. Potential goods. In fact, I know there is, in fact, something I want to kick around here. But I know it's not- actually, I think I just remembered where exactly it is. But I'm just gonna check out the scene, see if there's anything, uh, to find. Like the panic powder. Can't say no to panic powder. No siree. What's up? Yeah. Have you come to steal my secrets? Uh, Hello. To make a great weapon, you must concentrate your breathing. I'm sure it's not very interesting to watch. Again, also, uh, say, uh, oh wait, no. Uh, you humans can possibly hope to under, uh, to understand. You can see, uh, characters doing animations if they're in the middle of something, uh, while they talk, too. This game is just... For 2005, this game's detail is, like, off the charts. Part of the reasons why I love this game. Got herb extract for our troubles for doing, for kicking that. Uh... Clock, can I kick you? Oh my god, this clock ain't real. It's a fake clock. You're a fraud, Spider Man. You're a fraud clock. Alright, right here, this is where the goods are. The loot. The stuff you want is gonna be here. Oh, wait, no, those pickaxes are part of that. I got some met powder. Okay, not bad, not bad. Standard stuff, but you know, I cannot complain. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh crap, man, had a long day. Um, let's see. Kick you. Yeah, analysis ball, not bad, not bad. Alright. In this other room, should have the goods. The goods that we desire, the goods that we want. Earth Valley. Nice. If there's any music disc type thing that you want to get, it's Earth Valley. You'll see why. Uh, soon. Trust me, everything I do, it all has a purpose. It all has a reason. It all has a reason. It all has a reason. Uh, here we can see the, the way to the mines is closed off. I was about to say, but that's everything we want to see in Earth Valley, but uh, you may have noticed if you had a good eye there for a moment. Up the stairs, please, Jack. Get up the stairs. Uh, that dwarf that was guarding this door over here. Uh, if we hurry up over here. He's no longer guarding it. Which means we can slip on in undetected. And there's all this stuff we can kick. Oh man, there's even a chest here. Let's open it. Oh my god, it's trap chest. Full of a bunch of tiny little enemies. They may be easy to kill, but don't let them uh, fool you. They can easily overwhelm you and cause some... Um, cause some problems. But if you use your multi attacks, uh, you really shouldn't have too much problem. Like I said, they ain't too, tr they ain't too terribly tough. And there's also the fact that, you know, we got ourselves uh, a brand new weapon. And I learned cross slice. Not mad. Not bad. Got a mystery berry. Uh, mystery berry uh, increases uh, ra a random stat uh, by two. I'm gonna go look at my attacks, and I'm actually gonna do right, left, and then I'll do a cross slash. Just because I feel like four attacks is a little bit excessive, but that's just me. Nice. We managed to secure. 
the goods. And all is well. I'm gonna pop my head in here. Just talk to the people. See if it's thriving. Hi. You're too young to drink. Come back in a few years. Awesome. Hey. Good morning, or is it? I never know if it's night or day. Okay. Um, I was gonna say that's it, but, um, I think just because we do have a little bit of time to kill, we're gonna check out this building last. Because this is none other than the inn. Huh? Oh, welcome. Oh, a human. Humans come around here all the time. I have some ribbons especially for humans. Hello there. You don't have a mustache? You must be cold. You don't drink liquor either, so how do you stay warm? Hello there. I'm sleepy. I have to get up early again tomorrow. Aw, oh, you poor soul. Justice for the troll. Not the troll, the dwarf. What am I saying? POV, we got justice for the for the troll. It's one of my wacky kids. Hey! I didn't know you were in here. I'm trying to sleep. Do you know what time it is? Or is it a human custom to visit people in the middle of the night? Oh, you're just saying the same thing. Okay. Fine, be that way. I just want to say hello, Donovich. Why you gotta be so mean to me? I'm just trying to be nice and be all friendly, and you're all like, I get the hell away from me, tiny child. And I'm like, okay, Donovich, have it your way. And then I cry myself to sleep. Every time. Oh, we do have a save point here. Which is nice. Kick you, get a heating tablet. Very nice. Hey, Ridley, what's up? Hi. I didn't realize how modern Earth Valley was. What? You never been here either? Hmm. I just don't know a lot more about it than you. Maybe her ladyship's head is too big for her helmet. Shut it. Hello. What? Did you get tired of wandering around like a lost tortoise? You've got to get out and get a taste for things if you want to learn stuff. We're in the middle of an important mission. You have to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay, you're just repeating. Repeating. Uh, what about you, Gons? Hey! Captain, was your dad famous? Don't you know Sir Gawain Rothschild? Nope. My father was a brigade captain in the Ratiata Knights. He was on good terms with the fairy creatures and served as a mediator. But 16 years ago, my father went missing. Missing? Where to? If we knew that, he wouldn't be missing, would he? Oh, yeah. Yes? If you're bored, why don't you go and talk to the bartender at the pub? I think he might need help. I'm too busy at the moment. Ah, yes, the bartender is only in the pub in the evenings. Yes? Yeah. See, even Gans is porting us towards that guy's troubles. Oh, God. Okay, well, don't you worry, guys. We're gonna make sure that these troubles are solved. Because these are the Texas troubles. Let's see. Close set 2 is currently, I think, about to be like 11 in game time. So I'm gonna cut away until the bar closes. So I'll catch you guys back when that happens. Okay, I'm a little bit later. It's past 3 a.m. in game time, so let's go take a sneak peek, shall we? See what's popping in there. He said lots of times. Each carry different barrel. Steel barrel over there. Who's there? Gob! Aesop! Me, monkey? Us, Goblin Trio! Huh? Idiot, run! Damn, I wasn't expecting that. How long have you been standing there? A while. 
You're as stupid as the goblins. What was that? Oh, she's gone already. So we have to wait till 5 p.m. to go and tell him what happened. Although I will say we probably won't be seeing the reward for this for a while. Just because just, I don't feel like waiting. And all that jazz. You know how it is. Man, I guess I could. But I don't wanna. But alright. With that done and dusted as they say. I think we're gonna call it quits for today. We ventured out on our first mission as the Rose Kishon Brigade with all our friends and allies, and we began our journey over here and made it to Earth Valley, where after speaking with Donovich and Ganovich, we are preparing for the cargo to be ready and for us to return back to the castle. Our mission's already halfway done. I'd say that's pretty good. Oh yeah, and we also explored around Earth Valley and see what the place was all about, you know, and we bought ourselves a new weapon and all that jazz. With that being said, Next time on Radiata Stories. Hopefully the cargo will be ready and we can depart back for Radiata Castle. See you guys then.